Hello fellow comrades, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian, hi guys doing today, welcome to a brand new video and in today's video guys we are going to be reacting to hate comments. Or maybe I should title this video, Russian guy reacts to out of touch westerners telling them and teaching them how he must feel about the country that he grew up in and lived in for his entire life as if they know better. Because it seems like those kind of videos are basically an entire genre in my channel at this point, I've reacted already to Z westerners, conservatives, that are saying that Russia is the beacon of conservative hope in the world that rejects so the uh, LGBT agendas of the West, and it's also the most free country in the world, and that I'm a traitor to my country or whatever, and I'm on the side of the anti-Christian devil West or whatever. I've also reacted to enlightened takes of people that say that the West has propaganda as well, and I'm somehow a hypocrite for only reacting to Russian propaganda on this channel, because apparently they're the same thing. But in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reacting to by far the weirdest bunch of folks on the internet. And I'm talking about Western hardcore communists, also known as tankies. Now, if you've never heard of tankies, Honestly, I envy you, but uh... <laughs> it's essentially a French far-left subsection of the internet. It is mostly comprised of Westerners that largely describe themselves as leftists, Marxist-Leninists, and these people usually unironically like Stalin, Mao Zedong, and other great leaders of the world. Also, from what it seems like, most of them are very, very Z, even though it seems like they don't actually like the Russian government because it's not communist, it's actually an oligarchic capitalist state. So to the majority of these people, Putin is basically a pretty bad guy, except for what he's doing in Ukraine. Now, that's good. So yeah, they're a bunch of folk with very, very interesting beliefs. And unsurprisingly, guys, given that these people idolize Stalin and really support the denazification of Ukraine, it's very obvious that they really do not like me. And actually, pretty often my videos, especially those in which I talk about the Soviet Union, get posted on these subreddits, and people basically, you know, say that I'm a terrible liberal, a sellout to the West, a traitor to my country, etc. By the way, guys, before we get into this, I want to just address the liberal allegations first of all, okay? <laughs> I'm literally a leftist, I'm a social democrat, and I know when you're a tanky, you're basically rejecting social democrats as not being real leftists or whatever, because real leftists of course love Stalin and political persecution of millions, but these people are just gonna be calling me a lib a lot here, so I just wanted to address this before we get into it. But yeah, what I want to do in this video is see what these people are saying about me and basically try to understand how a bunch of lost westerners that, <laughs> that are reasonably frustrated with the situation in America right now with minimum wage and workers' rights, instead of actually supporting decent left-wing politicians, these people just choose to love Stalin on Reddit, which is, you know, fair. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just making this video because I love reacting to Westerners completely clueless takes about Russia because they, these people do not know what's going on. They've probably never even stepped fucking foot on Russia's soil and yet they think they know what growing up or living in Russia is like better than me. So let's react to some of these comments. This was back when Gorbachev died, the last leader of the Soviet Union. I made this video called Gorbachev gave Russians freedom, they rejected it. Yeah, pretty clickbait title admittedly and it looks like a very lib video but actually if you watch this video I gave a pretty reasonable take I feel like. I actually talked about the negatives and positives of Gorbachev Shaba said that his reforms weren't great and basically led to the collapse of the Soviet Union, which was a tragedy for many people. This is basically what I said in that video, but I guess these Western internet communists don't have the time to watch a 17-minute video, even though they claim they read the entirety of Marx, so uh, let's see what the people have to say. A YouTube celebrity being a shitty person? Call me surprised. Sarcasm. A West-loving Russian liberal. The scummiest kind of liberal. The one that sell hates. What? <laughs> he is not a Russian. He has given up being a Russian in favor of West and barbarism. <laughs> Again, guys, leave it to the Westerner that lives in a fantasy world where he's read <laughs> good things about Stalin to tell a Russian person that he's not Russian for uh, having a different opinion from you. I guess real Russians are only Russians that agree with you. I'm sorry, I don't know if you know, but Russian people, just like any people in the world, are not a monolith, and we actually have very different beliefs and very different outlooks. And surprisingly enough, my guy, most Russians do not share your beliefs, and most Russians cannot be described as communists today. Can someone explain this guy to me? I think it's this Russian guy who attacked Nathan Ray as selling his soul to China. Oh, okay, so that's why they have beef with me. This shit goes back years. Oh my, okay, I see. So years ago, I made a video about this guy, Nathan Rich, who is basically one of the, you know, pro paid CCP show YouTubers. And I guess these people are still mad at me because I insulted their favorite uh, pro Chinese YouTuber two years ago. That is fucking crazy, man. <laughs> And literally a guy three comments above is accusing my viewers of being terminally online. My brother, you're literally running a fucking circle jerk against me for years now after insulted your favorite YouTuber. Who's terminally online now? I think it's this Russian guy who attacked Nathan Rich as selling his soul to China without an ounce of self-awareness about him selling his soul to the West. Now that is a fucking... <laughs> that is a hard one right there, dude. Yeah, dude, so true. 
Insane. Insane. Your comments literally have the same level of nuance and understanding of the world as 60-year-old boomer grandpa from a village somewhere in Russia, who only watches the first channel news. You have the same level of nuance and understanding of the world. Congratulations. And the old boomer is not a bad person for not understanding, by the way, because he just doesn't have any other sources of information. You, though, here on the internet, literally having the same exact fucking <laughs> thought process, even though you're probably from the West and you literally have a sea of information in front of you. Insane. It's just absolutely insane to me, man. So yeah, the Gorbachev video was posted like 10 times on different subreddits and people, you know, were having a blast. However, recently another video that I posted got the attention of these Western communists and I thought as well, you know, the reactions were pretty hilarious. It's this video I made recently called Stalinism is back in Russia in which I basically talked about how basically the Russian propaganda right now is using the symbols of Stalin and the Stalin era to basically drive up patriotic feelings during the special military operation. And obviously, again, it's clickbait. It's not meant to be literally fucking taken seriously that literally little Stalinism is back in Russia. I can't believe I have to explain the nature of titling YouTube videos to these people. So here's the thread on r slash shit liberals say. Screenshot of my video, apparently Papa Stalin is bad guys. Smartest Russian liberal at it again. His Gorbachev video made me want to throw up. Quote, somehow if only we inferior Asiatic Ruskies did not reject Gorbachev's freedom. End of quotes. Fuck wannabe compradors. He also mentions this preference for European-like cities when he talks about Petrograd and Tbilisi. <laughs> Oh my god, the circle jerk is so insane that they call St. Petersburg Petrograd. You guys realize who the fuck we're dealing with? Oh my god, so good, so good. It's just distilled insanity, dude. Damn, that chauvinism cannot be contained. I wonder what his opinion is on the Siberian side of Russia. Probably looks to the American example of what should have been done to natives when the empire expanded east. Or perhaps the example by the Russians themselves when dealing with the Circassians. Okay, so... <laughs> This is a lot. <laughs> So again, the title of my Gorbachev video was Gorbachev gave Russians freedom, they rejected it. So this guy is uh, quoting my video here, which is, you know, this is obviously a quote from the video that I actually said. <laughs> it's definitely something he didn't make up. Somehow, if only we inferior Asiatic Ruskies didn't reject Gorbachev's freedom. So essentially he's making the points that my channel and, you know, the idea of my channel is that not only do I talk about, you know, Russia and propaganda or whatever, or Russia's struggle for freedom, but also apparently there's an inherent message in my videos that Russians are somehow inferior to other people and this is why they're not able to like have democracy or freedom or whatever right which is insane because it's literally the opposites of what the point of my channel is and I've literally made this point in several videos at this point I hammer this down all the time the chance I get is that first of all if you think that Russians are somehow inferior to any other type of people that is xenophobia and that is racism and that is not a justifiable point of view I think people in Ukraine that are literally being bombed have the biggest right to say those things but ultimately it is a sad sentiment that we should fight against. The point of my channel is literally to talk about Russian propaganda to show how this influences people and how literally any person can be susceptible to this. It does not mean that Russians are inferior or worse than any other nationality. <sighs> Holy shit, this is getting me riled up. I'm actually sweating. <laughs> Holy fuck. But clearly this person right here, you know, is a very regular viewer of mine. So of course he knows what I stand for. So here he is uh, making a quote, which is not a real quote, by the way. I think that's called a straw man fallacy when you make up an argument <laughs> for the person and then you destroy it. I've never said this and I never would say this. But then we also get more layers of it when people say uh, how I have preferences for European-like cities like St. Petersburg and Tbilisi. So I guess liking European cities is a type of chauvinism and disliking my own people. <laughs> Look, like I said already, I know you're a Westerner who's never set foot in Russia, probably. Dude, I'm just saying, if you were given a ticket and a choice to go on vacation to either Paris or Chelyabinsk, my hometown, I highly doubt that you would pick Chelyabinsk. I mean, maybe you would, because you're uh, obsessed with the USSR. Chelyabinsk is fun. It's my hometown. It would be a fun visit. However, I just might have a slight preference to visit Paris instead, you know? But I mean, yeah, I like European cities. I visited Rome, Prague, and Berlin. I had a blast. It was very beautiful. It's just very beautiful. I mean, what is there to fucking say. St. Petersburg as well. Beautiful city. Most beautiful city in Russia, in my opinion. So what the fuck? Am I supposed to pick Vorkuta and that would not make me a chauvinist and a racist towards myself? Yeah, I guess it's very chauvinistic to want to live in a city with actual walkable streets and an air pollution level that's breathable. I guess preferring huge bleak planned cities with empty open spaces is more patriotic. Okay, I guess Vorkuta is better than uh, St. Petersburg. Sorry, Petrograd and uh, Paris. I hope you're happy now. So yeah, then this guy says damn, that chauvinism cannot be contained. I wonder what his opinion is on the Siberian side of Russia. What, what opinion is there to, to have? <laughs> 
it's Russia. Like, Siberia inside of Russia is not that much different from the rest of Russia. And this last comment, I don't fucking know what this guy even meant, man. So he's saying that I look to the American example of what should be done to the natives. Again, you're making up an imaginary version of me that you're battling against. Cool. You know, my actual opinions were just not invited to this debate. That's the problem. Then we have this one right here as well. An r slash communism memes. Again, thumbnail of my video. Big if true. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Now, credit with credit is due. A lot of the comments here are actually relatively reasonable, but who cares, right? We want the outrageous ones for the reaction. Sad to tell you, but this guy is a pro-Western jerk. Sucking off NATO's dick. I really don't think I did, to be honest. I really don't think I did. I guess this guy is one of those guys that says basically that Russia has the right to do what they're doing in Ukraine right now because they're acting like America. You know, America had the invasion of Iraq and so on, ruined many people's lives, destroyed the country, whatever. How come we don't get the right to do that? That is literally like what people say, by the way. <laughs> in Russian propaganda on TV, etc. It's a sort of a whataboutism. Basically saying, oh my god, how come America gets to do these all these atrocities, but when we do an atrocity, everybody says, come on, stop doing that. And yes, quite honestly, I would say there is some hypocrisy in that, overall, on the part of the world community, but it's just because America owns the fucking world, okay? That's the, live, that's the world we live in. You just don't understand that the point that I'm trying to make, overall, is not that Russia's aggression is something terrible, however, NATO is a saint, okay? No, the point is, if somebody has done something bad before. Russia doesn't have to follow in the example. And also be just as awful out of the feeling of uh, well, come on, I want to do it as well. How come this guy gets to kill people and I don't? So yeah, once again, you're literally regurgitating Kremlin propaganda. It's incredible. I used to watch him a long time ago when I was interested in what life in Russia was like. But I have come to realize that he is a traitor and a disgrace to his country. And shits on everything they have done just because he's the Western shill. I cannot stand such people. Dude, I swear to God, if there was literally anything I could compliment, I would. But <laughs> I just really don't think the Russian government has uh, done a single good thing in the last year. So, but yeah, he looks like a shill. He's not patriotic to the country. I don't talk about the state here and political establishments. I, I'd, ha I'd have to disagree with that one. And he sells Westerners the shit stories about Russia, and that's how, in my opinion, he gains benefits, views, money, etc. <sighs> Dude, literally everything that I've ever told was my little fucking experience growing the fucking up and living in this country for fucking my entire life. What am I supposed to say, dude? Like, what? I don't know what these people want, man. I've literally always talked about what I see around me in the country. Oh my god, I'm getting pissed. You know, like, <laughs> you know, as a YouTuber, this is one of those things you gotta get used to. And it's pretty, I mean, pretty used to it. You gotta always realize that people will twist your words and twist your opinions and twist your actual worldviews to, again, create a straw man version of you that they could beat and hate for whatever reason they came up with in their heads. So this is really nothing new to me. It's just that when it's such, you know, a personal topic. Yeah, I gotta say I'm molding right now, to be honest. Like, <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Crazy, man. Thank you deeply for your well-thought-out response. I'm not a Westerner, you see, so when I see a person show for the West and turn their back on their own country, it makes me suspicious of their intent, and angry even, because it reminds me that there are people in my country who see themselves as too good for this country, and that only the liberal West can offer them sanctuary, as if all that's been done for them and provided is somehow not good enough. This is despite the fact that when they inevitably flee to the West, they will receive poorer treatment than they ever did here, and yes, they will crawl about their new lives, simply because they are now eaten from the white man's palm. Dude, you just like, I think you're just, I think you're just projecting your racism onto others. What does it have to do with white people? What does anything have to do with white? What does any of this have to do with race, dude? <laughs> I think no fuckers, his crime, if you will, is selling the biggest lie of them all about Russia. That normality doesn't exist there. I don't know how to say it really, but I feel as if he consistently paints a picture of Russia as this bleak place where people don't do normal, recognizable things. Like go to the store, have regular jobs, eat at a restaurant, have hobby clubs, etc. And I find this the most dehumanizing of all. That he's selling the picture of a kind of an evil fantasy kingdom, and thus dehumanizing all that is lives within it. What? Dude, I literally talk about Russia. Russians that are protesting all the time. I literally talk about Russians with different worldviews all the time. I talk about how regular people are affected by this, what regular life for the people is like. Please, like, actually watch my channel. Next time before opening your mouth. Like, <laughs> please. I look through this guy's channel. This guy is similar to all of those China will collapse tomorrow YouTubers. Pretty much you live. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of fair to be honest. Yeah, these days I look at my channel, I'm like, man, this looks like Lao Wai 86 basically. But uh, I don't have anything against Lao Wai, but yes, I'm pretty much part of that genre now. What can I do? He's a Russian lib at that. Those will suck whatever cock gives them money. Why are you so focused on sucking cocks and like, like this has to be projected. Like, <laughs> please like leave your sexual fantasies to yourself, man. And uh, of course we have a guy with a Z profile picture calling me a clown, you know. 
Typical. So yeah, we reacted to a bunch of tanky comments, but to sort of end this video, I want to also show you guys uh, the alternative side. So this is from the subreddit r slash tanky jerk, at which they basically make fun of tankies. And the guy here sent a couple of comments from my Stalinism is back video. I suggest all people who believe this man to take a step back and reconsider certain things. I also suggest talking to actual Russians. Now the comments here are great, by the way. Quote, I also recommend speaking to actual Russians. Roman is a Russian. Actually, all the Russians I know broadly agree with him. Exactly, bro, exactly. The tank eco chamber is so toxic that these people literally think that literally every single Russian likes Stalin or something, that, that most Russians think we should bring the Soviet Union back. That is not the case at all. It's been 30 fucking years. I also suggest talking to actual Russians. Mate, no fuckers is from Chilevinsk. <laughs> Very good points. There's no more actual Russian than that, than being from Chelyabinsk. Maybe being from Varkuta makes you more of an actual Russian. But alas. They think actual Russians are all hamzik flag-waving people who always defer to authority and call everyone comrades. I know, dude. Very eloquently put. What can I say? Thank you. When these people say actual Russians, what they mean is Russians who agree with me. Also, you just know that the people in the West who go the hardest for Stalinism would be the first to be absolutely destroyed by us. Bars! So yeah, uh, what can I say? Uh, dipping my toes into this weird part of the internet was very, very entertaining. But I just think it's incredible, really. You know, it's so crazy to me how people from the West, and I understand, yes, I'm saying Westerners, a lot of these tankies actually not from the West as well, you know, it's an international community of idiots, but uh, it's just so insane to me how these young men from capitalist countries that are distraught with what's going on, because the capitalist system is ass. I'm telling you right now, like I already said, I am a leftist, and I recognize that capitalism sucks my dick. So yes, I realize that these people are facing real issues. Low wages, terrible worker rights, the rich are getting richer, etc. I know what you guys are troubled by, but it's just insane to me that instead of, you know, just becoming like a Bernie bro or something, these people are like, no, fuck that, Stalin. Now that is the guy I fucking love. Mao Zedong and Stalin. Now those are the people that we should be morally oriented to when we're building the future of communism and socialism in the world. Look, I'm sorry to break it to you guys, but like with your opinions and with how you literally cannot take the slightest bit of dissent or dissent in opinion to yours, just shows that you're a community that will never actually get spotlights or actually will become a major political force, which I'm very happy with. And yet again, I just want to say that to me, it's amazing how Westerners or people from other countries, how these people have the authority to tell me, a person who actually grew up and lived in Russia for his whole life, how to feel about my country and how to feel about what's going on and how I should feel about my country's past. I'm sorry, but I think I'm just a slight bit more informed about what happened in my country that you guys might be. And quite frankly, I do not appreciate the gesture, because if you try trying to make the point that, you know, I'm this kind of fucking racist that thinks Russians should be, you know, led by the West instead because we cannot govern ourselves or something like that guy earlier was saying. Well, you're literally spreading your Western beliefs on me right now. You're telling me, a Russian person, how to behave and how to act because you think I'm not worthy to have my own opinions. So suck my dick. <laughs> That's literally all I have to say here. You know, all I'm saying is that maybe the people who actually are citizens and who've lived in the countries that you're idolizing, maybe those people actually have a better understanding of what is going on than you might do. But I guess that is the truth you will not accept. But anyways, guys, yeah, I guess it's gonna be pretty much it for today's video, though. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, then please make sure to slap the like on it. As well, like always, if you guys want to support me additionally, you can go to the link down in the description. You can become a YouTube member in this channel. It's basically a way to donate to me monthly, and it helps me out a lot. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video once again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.